going to um, set up a Google Sites. The easiest way to do it is to go into your Google Drive, click on the new button, and what, if you press more and go down, you'll see Google Sites is here. When you click on that, what it will do is it will bring up a blank Google Sites form. So when you're in this, you have the option then to pick some templates. So to do that, you go up to the left-hand side and you go to Sites Home. When you click on Sites Home, it provides you with a range of different templates. Um, and you can click on this template gallery and you can see there, there is actually quite a few different ones um, that you can use depending on, on its purpose. But I'm gonna actually click on the blank template. So if you double click on that, what it'll do is it'll bring you up a blank template. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna just take you through some of the basic features on um, Google Sites. But before I take you through it, I'm gonna actually show you our PE department um, Google Sites that we created for Sports Day, just so you can see what the overall um, finish can look like. So I'm just gonna bring that up now. So this is our Google Sites for Sports Day. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow you by pressing this button up here, the preview button to see what it would look like if students were to access this um, on their computer which is down here on the large screen, on a tablet device, like so, or if they were looking at it on their smartphone. So this is how we preview, um, and I'll come back to that later on. But essentially, we've created this from a blank template. So I'm going to just show you how you would do some of the features on here, starting from scratch. So I'm going to go back to our um, untitled site. The first thing you want to do is you want to give your site a name. So for example, it might be um, GCSEP. Um, it might be that you're creating it for revision. So um, once you've created it, that means it will automatically save in your Google Drive. So what you want to do then is you want to give your page, your home page, a title. So it might be GCSEP revision. Okay. Now, what you can do then is you can add an image just to dress it up a wee bit. And if you click on this button here, it gives you the option to upload an image or select an image from the internet. So if I click upload, it'll take me to my documents. And it's here that I can decide then, you know, is there an image that I can use that would be suitable for GCSE? And I'm going to just pick um, one of the pictures from, from Sports Day, maybe, um, that we had, because obviously it's due with PE. And there you can see we have now um, our GCSE site. If I click on the writing, I can make it bold to make it stand out. I can center it or, or I can put it right or left. It's up to me. And what I can also add up here if I want is a logo. So the logo I want up there is, is Thornhill because it's a Thornhill GCSE site. Um, and because I've downloaded Thornhill Crest previously, I can then add that and the logo will appear up here. And then I can just X that out. So now I have our school logo as well. So it's GCSEP revision. Now what I can do as well is I can change the header type. So if I click on that, I have the option to make it as a whole cover page. I can make it as a large banner. I can make it as a small banner or I can make it as a title only. So I think I'm gonna go with a small banner. So then you have here, your basic template and you've got nothing there now one of the things you can do if you want more flexibility is if you double click on the space that you're in you have the option to add text by pressing the middle button you can upload an image from either google or your documents by clicking on this one um, if you click down here you can take stuff directly from your google drive um, if you are pressing this button here, you're looking to embed something, for example, a YouTube video. And again, this is the same. This is an upload button. So if I want to add in something, for example, text, I might write um, something along the lines of welcome to our GCSE PE revision website. And you can write uh, whatever you want. I can center it. I can um, bold it, 
I, if I want, I can change the text size. So I can make that um, a bigger heading, okay? What you can also do then is if you want, you can use one of the layouts over here for this, um, for this page. So for example, if I wanted this page to, to just have maybe one document and some text, I would press this one. And then if I press plus here, again, I've got the same options. So I could upload something from my um, computer. I could upload something from my drive or I could select an image. So for example, if I go to upload, I'm going to pick something like, um, what do we see? So I pick uh, schoolwork. And again, you can have all your images preloaded. What you can do as well is you can drag your image to make it bigger. All right. Um, if you click here, you have the option then to write a text. So by clicking on this, you can decide what size of text you want it. So for example, it could be a subheading. So it could be something like um, ECSE PE um, resources. And then below it, you have the option then to add and more text if you want to. So um, what you can do then from here is you can add um, a new page. So this is say your home page and you've wrote your little introduction and you want a second page because you want to add some more material. So you go up to this button and you click on pages. And then what you do is you go down and you press on the plus button. And what you do then is you create your next page. So it might be something like um, the body systems because that's how ours would work. And you press done. And then you can see that you're starting to get your options along the top. So if I click on home, you can see that's what we'll look at the home page. And then if I click on the second one, that would be the body system. So again, I might go and I might um, change the image because obviously it's to do with the body systems. And I might use, for example, uh, this one here. Okay, so then now I've got the body system. Again, I can go and I can change the header to make it fuller, something like this. And then what I want to do is I want to insert some um, PowerPoints or Google Slides or I want to insert some videos. So if you go to insert, okay, you have the choice then of how you lay out your page. So for example, you know, we have six body systems that we cover in GCSE. So what I can do is I can add three here. And then if I go down to this, but I can add three more. So essentially what I've done now is I've created this landing page for the body systems. And if I click on this one, what I can do is if, for example, we're doing the circulatory system, I can upload an image if I wanted. So for example, there's the circulatory system there. It's a blank picture of the heart. Okay. What I can do here is I can um, add on text. So I might write, for example, the cir circulatory system. Um, and again, I can fold it. And what that does is it provides um, a link here. Now, what I can do as well is if I was to just double click, I can add um, an image or I can embed a video. So if I click embed here, if I was to go say to YouTube and find a video on um, the circulatory system. So let's, if I pause that, if I go to the, to say the circulatory system for kids and say I find a really good video that I like at exploring it, if I click on that and I'm just going to pause it a wee second, if I take its URL and I copy and I go back to my Google Sites and I paste it in, it will automatically recognize it and then if I insert it, what I can do then is I can drag this up and it would go just below the circulatory system if I want it that way. Or what I can do is I can just drop it on here. And if I th didn't think the need for that picture anymore because I think, oh, the video is better, I can just delete. Oops, I deleted everything. If I undo what I just did, so you can undo what you just did before. What I can do here with this specific one is I can... I should be able just to delete that picture. There we go. So what you've got then if you scroll down is you've got this little video that introduces you to the circulatory system. 
And what I can do then is if I want to have a specific page, I go back to pages and I will add in a page saying the circulatory system, which I will do it as a sub page. So if I um, delete that one because I don't need that, and if I go into the body systems and I add a sub page, so if I write the circulatory system, Done. Then what you have under here then under that is the circulatory system. And then when you're in that one, it obviously gives you the option to add in whatever you want. So for example, in here, if I just double click, I can add in PowerPoints, for example. So if I go back to insert, I have like a Google Slides presentation, for example, I might want to add in, which is stored in my Google Drive. Um, I'm just going to pick anything here just to show you because obviously Let's go with um, the nervous system. And if I insert, then the students have access to um, the PowerPoint. If I double click here, I might have a revision sheet, for example. So if I click on my, if I go to one of my folders like my GCSE, and I go to um, the body systems, and I go to, um, student workbooks and again uh, oops sorry actually if I go into um, the body systems and I go to worksheets I will go to circulatory system and say I have a worksheet there that I want them like a, um, I can insert that as well and it's there for them to access so what you've got then if we review if we got my preview what you've got is your home page, which is the GCSE revision. Okay, then you've got the body system. So they'll have a landing page for the body system. So you'd have all of your different systems along here. And then because I've added a sub page, if I click on the down button, I've got the circulatory system. And then what you have here is your page specifically devoted to that where they can access the PowerPoint and they can access any extra resources. And again, you can add in as many as you want. Um, and if I just X out of that, and then it brings me back again. So if I anything I want, I can just click on the page and I can upload. Um, what I can do again here is I can embed a video. So if I just go back and paste that previous video I had, again, it remembers it, it finds it, and it adds it on. So you could have a video from the watch as well. Um, what you can add in is... Um, Anything really, you can add in a, if you look down here, you can add in a Microsoft form for a test, a quiz. So maybe if I try that, if I click on forms, it takes me to the forms that I've done before. So I've done, for example, let's just click on blank quiz. And I click that in. Students will have access then to the quiz as well. And if I try and drop and drag it under here, I should be able to move it across. So again, you've got this landing page for everything in your subject. Again, it's very interactive. Down the side here, you've got lots of different options from adding in Google Forms to Google Slides. You can add in, I say, YouTube videos. The divider means if you add a divider, that just splits up your page. You can add in a button as well. I'll show you that. So if I click button, it might be something like, um, press here and I have a link to um, say for example back to home so what I can do is insert and then if I go to preview again because it won't work unless you're on preview if I click on press here it'll actually take me back to the home page so you can add it as a return button which is really useful as well and again, just to show you what it looks like if you're looking at the students were looking at it from their phone. If they go across to body systems, they'll see oh, they would see all the body systems listed on here. And then they can go and look at the sub system. So you they would have look, there's their Google Slides presentation, there's their revision sheet, there's a little video for them to watch, and there's a quiz. And if they go to the bottom and you press here. 
you can then go back to your home page. What I would do possibly is instead of pressing here, I might change that to um, something like home. So if I go down, I'm just going to change that. So if I press that button, it allows me to edit it. So I have something like um, home. We're doing capitals. And you update. And it's home. You can move that where you want it as well. If you want to make it bigger as well, you just click on it and then you just make it bigger. Okay. Um, and really, it's as simple as that. If you want to keep adding pages, you go down to add page. If you want to do a sub page, so, you know, we're off the body systems, you can add sub page in. If um, we call this the, um, the respiratory system. Oops, I've done that. I always do it all the time. Just change that. And you press done. You've got then your respiratory system. The same thing. Change um, change image. So if I upload, again, it's always good to have this well prepared. Um, if you're looking for something to do with a specific thing. Now, I don't have anything for that. But if, say, for example, I um, stick on this eat well plate. Again, if that was to do the respiratory system, click on the head and makes it darker so that um, it stands out more. If I just press that again, make it bold. If you want to add in a certain layout, you've got choices here, or you've got the option to do it yourself. Um, and it's simply to do that, you just click wherever you are on the screen and you can embed a video, add a file or something from your Google Drive. You can add images. Um, or you can upload um, a document from your computer, for example, if you have it saved in your computer, not on your Google Drive. Um, and then, as you say, if you need to, you can use these options down the side. I'll show you this one, this image um, carousel. So say within the respiratory system, you wanted to show a variety of pictures. You just go to upload and it needs to be at least two. So if I click the burger um, and open and then I click again and I upload image and I choose um, this burger <laughs> okay and then another one upload image and it's I think of one more burger in there and um, you go to that you go to insert and then you have this image carousel and again you can make it as big or as small as you want there we go and if I want to see what it looks like go to preview if we're looking at it on a phone, you can see then you have this little image carousel too. So, you know, you, you really can make it as, as interesting as you want. If you're looking at it from a computer point of view, you know, you can add, you can add as many pictures as you want. Um, and then just you press the X button to stop previewing. If you want to share your Google Sites with somebody, you press the share with others. And what that will allow you to do is to add contributors, people who can collaborate. So you type in their email address and then you provide them with editor access. And that allows them to write on it as well. So that's how you do that. Um, if you want to publish it, you go up to this button here and you click publish. Um, and what you have to do is you give your address, you, you give your your Google Sites a, um, a name. So mine's is going to be GCSE PE Revision because that's what will come up on the address. If you want to manage who sees it, you click on Manage. And then what you can do is you can change the settings. So what is sitting at the minute is once this is published, anybody in C2K, if they have the link, can look at it. But what you can do is you can make it public if necessary, so anybody with a link can look at it, um, or you can restrict it to just certain people. But again, you know, it might be that you want to share it with um, with the school community. So then you would press you would press done, and then you would click on this publish button. And what that does is it actually makes your website go live. And at any point, you can unpublish your website by clicking on the publish button, and then there'll be a button below saying unpublish. And it allows you to update your site as often um, as you want to. So I think really um, that's everything um, in terms of just the basic functions. Um, I really like it and I think it'd be really good for students to collaborate at home as well.
And if you've got any questions, please ask.